The Irving Arts Center hosted its annual Senior Portfolios Art Exhibit. Today we're kind of celebrating or honoring our wonderful seniors that have worked really hard over the last couple years. Some of them have been in the program for probably like four years, some of them two, but they have this kind of prolific or grouping of works that they kind of put together themselves to kind of display for the public. This is kind of real world experience for them. Being having people come up to them and talk about um, what they made, why they made it, and just kind of having that like that thing that's theirs. Irving ISD seniors displayed their best and most meaningful works of art from the past four years. It's kind of centered around the idea of like um, the elements of nature, like earth and sea. I'm really interested in like anything that has to do with like sea and the ocean and just water in general. These three are part of my concentration and it's the it's regarding the abuse and mistreatment of kids and adult agendas. So like you got someone getting controlled by their dad to do something for them. And this one was just supposed to be like the start of her talking about like there's something wrong here. And I said it in Paris because it was the events of Paris. This is the drum room in the band hall in my high school because I just came in one day. This is totally off guard picture I took of my friends just hanging out in the drum room because band is also like a really big part of my high school career. So it's just something I love and it took me forever to draw that. So it's the most important to me. As people walk around admiring these students' pieces, it's their teachers who take notice of their talented skill. Well, Jacob just like, it's amazing what he does on a computer. I mean, he's very good at like drawing on paper too, but he loves to kind of take that drawing style and put it onto a computer, which is kind of a new medium, which is great to kind of see a student who's willing to try something that's still very untested, if you will. And then Liz, Liz is kind of the complete kind of other side of the spectrum. Um, she really loves to kind of just draw in a very kind of natural setting, but hers are very whimsical. There's always a little kind of thing that she's doing within those drawings that, you know, are kind of her sense of comedy. Through their passion, teachers even inspired some students to have their love of art go beyond their high school careers. I wanted to be a major uh, force that keeps me busy and helps me, keeps me motivated, um, you know, throughout college. I'm planning on a majoring in art education, um, so hopefully I can give to other students the passion that, you know, my art teachers have given to me. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab reporting.